Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so today's video is going to be about what it's like studying civil engineering. Because I don't feel like that, like you actually really know what it's like until you start studying it. And I don't mean like, I mean this video I'm going to be more specifically the course, like the course at the University of Southampton, which is what I study. And I'm in my second year of uni and like, there's certain things that I want to share with you guys, whether it's like design projects, construction area, labs, how those are, tutorials. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to cover in this video, but I'm going to cover like the main points. The main points. Anyways, please like and um, subscribe, leave a comment if you want more. Obviously, there's going to be more engineering videos. Also, watch my previous video for a lookbook on how to style office wear clothes. Anyways, let's begin this video. Cue the intro. Oh la la. <laughs> Okay, so first thing I want to start off with is like, when you have, civil engineering has a lot of design projects, okay, so first year we had a first year design project, which was more abstract compared to the second year design project, first year design project was, um, you had a brief and it could be like, you had to create a structure, we just met this brief, and the brief was basically like either ascend, a descend, transverse, um, those are it. So you had to build a structure. So mine was ascend. So it had to go from one point to another, and that was basically the brief. And so it was really like broad. You could come up with anything you wanted. That's why I found it way more harder than the second year design project because it was just so damn broad. Okay, my mind doesn't work like that. You could go anywhere with it. And so I'll insert like some clip pictures if I can find it of like first year design project. Second year design project was different. Second year design project consisted of. Um, depending on if you're civil with engineer, civil engineering or civil with architecture, depending on what brief you got. So just plain civil, you got a brief of um, design a structure that can like overlook something. So you're designing a structure so you can look at the surroundings, whether that's in Southampton or like whatever. And then the civil with architecture, which is what I am, um, what, what I was currently on, we had to design a building for a tailor. And so it was really interesting because it was fun. Design projects are always fun compared to your day-to-day -day timetable of uh, modules. Because I'm, I'm telling you, we go like structural analysis, structural design, uh, materials, all like really like hard intense knowledge base and then um then you come to afternoon and then you have design projects and it's not a time to it's like a time to relax but like not relax but it's a different way of teaching and so not everything needs to be like taught in a lecture hall sometimes you just need to sit in a design studio talk to your group do a bit of like brainstorming designing all of that that's why i really enjoyed um design projects no one really talks about it but like design is heavy in civil engineering because it's Another thing I want to talk about, something that you might not think you do in um, a civil engineering module, uh, not module, degree, is construction area, because I didn't, I've never heard of construction area, but a lot of unis do t um, take students to construction area, and like if you want more detail in it, I have a video which I'll link about construction area, but I'm just going to talk about it briefly. Construction area was basically like a thing we did in first year, but depending on what university you go to, depends on what year you do, but in Southampton we did it in first year, and it's like they'll take a bunch, uh, they'll take everyone on the course, into us on site and then you have to build a structure depending like you get split into groups i was in a malau five dot a group so i had to build a like a one in five scale version of the malau bridge in france out of concrete and obviously you have the whole year to prepare it because uh, construction is at the end of the year and it was so 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 good it's so fun you spend a whole week and a tense week um on site working with people you like working with your like your course mates and everything's actually down to you. You plan this, you do all the risk assessments, you write up all the method statements, you plan everything. The lecturers and the people on site just to make sure that everything goes safely. But like, you'll be pouring in the concrete, you'll be casting the formwork, you'll be doing, <laughs> you'll be doing everything. And that's why I find it so fun. So that's another thing you get to do in a civil engineering degree, construction area or some kind of, um, on-site work that you can put down for work experience 
Okay, another thing, obviously, which is having, like, most practical degrees or engineering is labs. And you have a lot of labs, and labs can range. Like, not every module has a lab, but, like, most modules do. So labs can consist of, like, computing, which is also a lab. So you can code on Python, um, MATLAB. Um, you can just even use designer software such as Abacus, Inventor, Fusion 360, all of that. So those are labs. And then you have other labs like Hydraulics. So we went, went to go and see the Wave Machine. Like, um, so we went to Boulder, which was like basically where all our labs happened, which is a new campus. And so we saw like this hydraulic machine, which creates wave going through a venturi tube. And then we'll do, we'll calculate and stuff, blah, 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 blah. But it was quite fun. We also had an odometer lab, which was for soil, me soil mechanics and a triaxial lab. I'll insert all these pictures so you can actually see visual representation of what I'm talking about. Not just a, oh yeah, we did labs. Oh yeah, me, me, me. Like you can see, and then you have something to look forward to. So um, labs are a big aspect of engineering or any practical based degree. Um, what other labs? Oh yeah, we had like a, so we had to design a truss and it had to withstand a certain load, say like, I just can't remember. No, it had to withstand a minimum of 800 Newtons and obviously the more load it can stand, the better. And it was like a little mini competition. It was really fun and also counted towards our final grade. Okay, so another thing which um, you will do in a civil engineering degree is surveying. And surveying was mainly done in first year, which is more of a practical side of the degree. And surveying allows you to like, okay, surveying can include many different things. Okay, don't base my knowledge because I can't remember right now. But um, surveying, we did like practical um, assessment. I would put pictures, but it's like you have this surveying machine. What's it called, surveying machine? Oh, an automatic leveler and basically some depending on what you're actually trying to do when you're out in the field sometimes you just want to see the different topography of like the land and like so you can get actual accurate representation of the different levels of land surveying also allows you to pinpoint stuff set coordinates um put your form work surveying allows you to like you set up your surveying machine automatic level and then you have someone with a staff and then you move it around to try to pinpoint locations i don't know just google it but surveying is a thing you do do and it's quite interesting because obviously i told you it's a break from like your day-to-day -day normal life you go out the field for like three or four hours with a certain task and then you'll be like survey the land this that you have tasks that you need to complete and and it all goes towards your final degree as well yeah so those were just quick examples of things you would you will do um, if you want to study a civil engineering degree and especially if it's a University of Southampton because that's obviously I'm based off the knowledge I know um, So that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, please like and subscribe If you want more videos about like things I do at uni and if you want to see stuff I do like my summer internship, let me know because I'm starting that soon. Thanks. Bye